From plants to salamanders and aquatic insects, there is much to learn at the Highlands Biological Station. Heather Burgess shows us how this field station's mission is fostering the next generation of scientists. Scientists consider the North Carolina mountains one of the most biologically significant areas in North America. The Highlands area and the Nantahala National Forest are known worldwide for a rich diversity of plant and animal life. This is one of the highest diversity areas of aquatic insects in, in the world, um, at least in North America, and I think it's the same with salamanders and some of the plant groups too. So to have a field station here, you're going to go out and see something different every single day. For over 80 years, the Highlands Biological Station in the southwest corner of North Carolina has been at the heart of educating and promoting research in ecology and conservation. You need to pass on that knowledge of how to, how to study, how to recognize, how to identify, how to really better understand the integrated nature of Southern Appalachian ecology. In 1927, a group of local Highlands residents and scientists from across the southeast founded the station. In 1930, the group built its first research laboratory. There is the research mission. You know, we, we conduct scientific research. We support scientific research. We, you know, we are the, the host of, to, to scientists that come and, and publish in the peer-reviewed scientific literature. There's also the educational side, the training of the new generation of, of scientists. Along with the classes and research facility, there is the popular Highlands Nature Center and Botanical Garden. Because of the moisture, you begin to pick up uh, pitcher plants. Mm -hmm. so this is Dr. More, Jim Costa yeah, is the executive director of the Highlands Biological Station. Nice and more pitcher plants, some nice um, sphagnum moss. Dr. Costa um, takes us on a walking tour of the grounds, which serves as a living laboratory for research and conservation. The Highlands Nature Center building and Botanical Trail are long-standing public outreach for nature education. It's a, it's a natural asset for the botany classes that we have because you have a broad cross-section of Southern Appalachian native plants mm -hmm. in a fairly naturalistic setting and labeled. <laughs> so that's, mm -hmm. that's really nice, you know, as they're studying how to identify plants, how to key them out and, you know, aspects of their biology. Um, it's a real help to be able to come in here and, mm -hmm. you know, you've got things labeled so that you know this is what you're, what you're looking at. This is not something that visitors here can easily see. Mm -hmm. um, this is really coming along nicely. This is a very rare lily. This is Gray's lily, which was discovered by uh, the, the f famous 19th century Harvard botanist Asa Gray. In the 70s, the, the University of North Carolina acquired the research center, which offers students and visiting scientists a fully equipped scientific field station. Field stations in general are wonderful because you can sort of escape reality for a little while. You've got everything right there. You've got the cafeteria, you've got your dorm room. The courses give students and visiting scientists an opportunity to become fully immersed in a subject. There are no distractions at Highlands Biological Station. They are uh, with me in class and lab and in the field from 8.30 in the morning until they can't hold their eyes open at night. By having this intensive experience where you're in the field, you're, you're really with your, your colleagues all day, every day for about two weeks, it's a really special kind of learning environment. You know, it's full immersion, um, real bonding goes on. It's a very different kind of educational environment than, you know, the, the traditional um, college campus. And it is for experiences like these, students from around the country and even the world come to study the rich biodiversity of Southern Appalachia. When we get out here and we get to see some of these places that, you know, for, for instance, this right here, we don't get to see this a lot in Kentucky. You know, a lot of streams that we go to are, are impacted pretty, pretty severely. And um, getting out here, being able to see some of these places that aren't impacted, some of the, some of the macroinvertebrates we collect are things that we don't see every day. So, it, you know, in terms of that, it's, you know, it's a great experience. And by studying a water bug pulled from a river, students and researchers can answer pressing environmental questions. We can learn more about the uh, pollution status of the water by uh, looking at insects uh, than we can uh, by taking chemical samples or doing other uh, methods. Uh, it's the most efficient and, and most accurate, really, uh, most accurate way of determining the, the pollution status of the water. 
and the quest for answers continues at the Highland Station, with each new question sparked by the mysteries of this natural laboratory. For more information on the Highland Station, visit our website at unctv.org slash ncnow.